Tao overflows. Krishnamurti in England. Krishnamurti and Nityanand were taken to England in April 1911. This was their first trip to England. During this trip, Krishnamurti gave his first speech to the members of OSC in London, Organization of the Star of the East, established by the Theosophical Society to present Krishnamurti and prepare him for the world appearance. His first writings had also started to appear and published in booklets by the Theosophical Society and in the Theosophical and OSC affiliated magazines between 1911 and the start, start of First World War in 1914 the brothers visited several other European countries but were always accompanied by Theosophists. As Krishnamurti was 15 years of age, near about, meanwhile Krishnamurti had for the first time acquired a measure of personal financial independence. It was due to a wealthy benefactress, American Mary Melissa Woodley Dawes, who was domiciled in England. In 1912, Krishnamurti visited India. However, by the end of 1912, his father, Naryana, had filed a suit against any Besant to regain the custody, charging that Lee Beater and Krishnamurti were involved in a sexual relationship. In 1914, after a judgment against Annie Besant in the Indian courts, Besant won the appeal in Privy Council in London. Both she and Lee Beater were exonerated from the charges brought by the father. Thereafter, Krishnamurti and Nitya remained in England during this period and were prepared by a tutor for university studies. However, Krishnamurti was not able to pass the entrance examination and never obtained a university degree. Although he studied for many years privately and learned English, French and to some extent Sanskrit. From 1900 and from near about 1920 onwards, Krishnamurti's extraordinary gift as a public lecturer and his independent viewpoints on the spiritual quest became clear and evident. He spoke more and more frequently at gatherings of the Theosophical Society in India, the Netherlands and North America. At some of these meetings, he referred to himself in a way that implied that he was speaking as the world teacher. Krishnamurti's brother Nityanand died of tuberculosis in Ozai, California on November 13th, 1925. Krishnamurti's struggle with ensuing sorrow was formative to his judgment about the bondage of the mind. However, the articulation of his own special teachings alienated him from the inner circle of the leadership of the Theosophical Society, including Annie Besant, Lee Beater, George Arundale, and others, each of whom claimed to have received communication 
from the masters consisting of instructions for the Theosophical Society that were contrary to Krishnamurti's increasingly independent course. They thought that they had received the instructions, but it was in conflict with what Krishnamurti was increasingly feeling. In 1926, Krishnamurti, when he was to appear, to declare himself as the world teacher in 1926 he dissolved the order of the east the order of the star of the east built up by an ibescent an organization for about 30,000 members expecting the world teacher in 1926, he dissolved the Order of the Star of the East. In 1933, Annie Besant died. With that ended Krishnamurti's ties with Theosophical Society. Krishnamurti was repudiated for some time by leading officials of Theosophical Society. However, The one who was successor to the presidency of Theosophical Society, Nilkant, Shriram, Radha, Barnier sought cordial relationships with Krishnamurti. So all these tried to establish cordial relationship. There was no apparent single turning point in the development of Krishnamurti away from and beyond the conflicts of the role created for him by the Theosophical Society for his mentors, Lead Beater and Annie Besant. I repeat it again, there was no apparent turning point in the development of Krishnamurti moving away and beyond the conflicts of the role assigned or created for him by lead beater and anibescent. It is undoubtedly true that lead beater had a dominating and charismatic personality in his own right. Krishnamurti was the center of an extensive circle of young people who faithfully followed lead beater. In the work of the co-masonic order and the liberal Catholic Church and other subsidiary organizations, including the order of the East that provided and mostly continue to provide a total way of life for the members of the Theosophical Society. Krishnamurti had been appointed a further pivotal figure in the formation, in the formation of one of these groups called Bharat Samaj. Bharat word used for India. Samaj refers to the word, the group. The Bharat Samaj, which offered a reformed Hindu ritual based on Vedic mantras and traditional commentaries for Hindu members and others in Theosophical society. Under Lead Beater's direction, Krishnamurti had performed the first public rite of Bharat Samaj, in effect as its first priest. Priesthood of woman was also allowed in Bharat Samaj. One can suppress, one can suppose that Krishnamurti's own 
internal spiritual dynamics had finally profoundly rejected the complex system of organizations and rituals increasingly promoted by Annie Besant, Lee Beter and other leaders of the Theosophical Society as they believed under the guidance of the Masters. There is no other apparent explanation than a matter of temperament on Krishnamurti's part to reject all these developments. With this begins the story of the separation or moving away of Krishnamurti from Theosophical Society. Krishnamurti began to develop belief in him and Mary Lutons continues that Krishnamurti started developing belief in him and that was the cause of division or separation or moving away from the Theosophical Society and it laid the foundation for Krishnamurti to continue rest of his life and his spiritual work as an independent philosopher, thinker, meditator and a master. Enough for now. Mm -hmm.